Hello, welcome back to Resident Evil 4. We're here in the village, and before I start things off and get swarmed by these little guys, I'm going to walk around and explore a little bit. They're kind of oblivious to my presence. Uh, I love their dialogue here. They're talking and saying all kinds of crazy stuff. Who knows what they're saying? Um, if any of you know what they're saying, let me know in the comments. I think it would be interesting to find that out. But yeah, I'm just kind of strolling along. They don't know what's going on. I could probably just exit and they would have never realized I was here. But I'm going to shoot this guy in the leg and run up to knife him and get this thing started. So this is one of the most intense kind of like not the starting sequence but you get into it really quickly and this is a great way for the developers of this game to get you really going into the mood of what's going to be taking place in Resident Evil 4 now to even amplify this more so if you go into this building here you get super swarmed I mean you can if you don't go into that building and you just like wipe everybody out you don't have to deal with this chainsaw guy and you can just proceed by killing your normal amount of ganado I chose to go in here because if you go in here and go up these stairs you get a shotgun and everybody likes shotguns um, unfortunately I do have to deal with this chainsaw guy and he takes a lot of health at this point in the game so he is a great challenge to get things kicked off with um, now I like trying to camp camp out up here. You have to cover the stairs, which is pretty much mostly good for a while because you did block off the doorway, but they will break through eventually. And you just got this window and the ladder window, which you can just keep knocking the ladder down, they won't ever get up there. But I'm not going to camp for the most part. I'm going to actually kinda like just walk around. Oh that almost got me. And just have myself a fun time. Um I hear this guy near me, the chancellor guy, always got to be on alert for him because he, he will sneak up on you and he will kill you in one hit if you give him the chance. Um, I'm going to go ahead and oh, get caught and almost die. That would have sucked. Thankfully, I've got some health. Probably talking too much, but who cares? Uh, oh. And grabbed again. And always grabbing me from behind. And uh, you can see everybody clean and chainsaw guys right there on me and he just swung through me basically so that was a nice lucky break um, this will give me some time to get myself collected and prepare for these guys coming at me I remember the first time I did this segment I mean I probably died 30 times well, and it wasn't that much but I died a lot I had some friends over at a party um, I got this game as a uh, gift and it was ha at a party and we all took turns dying at this because we could not survive so this this part has a lot of memories for me and it's a whole lot of fun uh, these guys are enjoying the whole grabbing me thing Let's just go ahead and use this um, and let's toss one of these grenades out see if I can take out this chainsaw guy that, that didn't even kill him. Whew. So yeah, I would like to know how you guys dealt with this part of the game in the comments. I think it would be interesting to see if you guys were just like all stars right away, or if you guys were able to, or if you guys got your butts kicked like I did. This chainsaw guy, I just like shot the hell out of him and grenaded him, and I just point blanked him with a shoddy, and he's no problem just getting right on up, and he's going to keep chasing me. Now that I've got a little bit of free space, I'll try and take some of these guys out. Shoot him from a distance is always a good idea. Alright. Bunch of gold over here. Let's go grab some stuff, maybe. Actually, let's go inside. Um, and kind of like re-equip myself and prepare. I think that might be a good idea trying to figure out how to turn around there and I just wasn't doing it. One thing I don't like about Resident Evil games or the last couple is that when people are climbing you generally can't shoot them. They're just like invincible while they're climbing or put not while they're climbing but while they're putting the ladder up. Uh, it's kind of frustrating because I would like to stop them while they're putting it up but it generally won't let you. 
And this chainsaw guy's gotta be near me somewhere, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this chance to run just to make sure I don't get caught. Um, now this video goes a little bit past this opening segment here. Just keep shooting the chainsaw guy, he's almost dead. He's getting close. And that's it for him, thankfully. So now, um, once you take out the chainsaw guy, it's really just kill a couple more enemies and you're good to go. Um, this is not one of the the chainsaw enemies that will get back up and proceed to chase you. Oh, Wiimote problems. So, you don't have to worry about any of that, thankfully. Uh, come on. Trying to get my Wiimote to not aim at the top of the screen. There we go. Alright, uh, so let's go ahead. Get a little bit away, and I'll just, like, quick scope him. Nah, I don't have a sniper, but... And I do, I will, I love sniping in Resident Evil 5 especially, and even in this game a little bit. In 5, the sniper is my favorite gun. But yeah, that's pretty much it. If you've played this game, you know, uh, and you've played the PlayStation version onward, you know that this church bell tower is being rung by Ada, and you can do that quest in Operation Ada, which is a kind of like side game to this main storyline it's really cool so I highly suggest playing that if you haven't already and it kind of shows like some behind the scenes stuff of what's going on including who's distracting these guys here Where's everyone going? anyways cutscene time so I'll be quiet Honigan, I have some bad news. I've confirmed the body of an officer. Something's happened to the people here. Leon, you need to get out of there. Look for a tower and follow the trail near it. Got it. Alright, so now that she's explained where we should go, we're going to take her advice. Um, now, I did quickly grab some of the items and all that before I continued on, so if you notice that there's no items laying around, it's because I already picked them up. Um... I haven't gotten everything, but I just got the most part. I am going to try and make this a little bit challenging for me. I'm not going to completely, like, always be scouring for ammo and checking every corner. I say that as I'm going into a house on the side to get ammo, but, you know, uh, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time doing it. Um, huh. Now, uh, as you see here, there's this blue token hanging from the tree and if you collect enough of them this you will get like a free gun later on there's a note on the tree as well emote problems um, that explains that whole thing will so I'm not gonna read it because there's no point because I already know it and I just told you it so you don't need to say it. now I don't know because now you know um, again I love the knife character save ammo it's what Resident Evil is all about being gruesome and cutting somebody in the leg until they die. I guess that might kill them if you do it enough from blood loss. Um, not sure. I've never knifed somebody. Uh, one of the things I like to do, but I'm not going to do in this video, is kill the cows. They make a lot of noise. <laughs> and I think they'll attack you if you stand too close to them while you're attacking them. So it's a lot of fun. Nice little side thing. <sighs> I like this. I'm going to aim at this guy and accidentally shoot the cow. <laughs> so my bad, I bet Pete is pissed. Oh well, my vegetarian girlfriend probably isn't happy as well. Hope she doesn't watch this. Just kidding, she won't care. Kick this guy. And uh, I believe that's the dog we rescued earlier. If not, it's just another dog that's just kind of walking around. He's like harassing us, let's see. I mean, you can really just get another one of these tokens um, or medallions, whatever you want to call it. Um, coins, token, medallion, they're really the same thing. Emblem. You can really skip most of the enemies in this section. I'm just going to run past this guy. Um, we'll come back to all of this later. So for now, we're just going to carry on and come up to. Um, 
section that if you've never played this game before and don't know what to do can catch you off guard. I'm sh I don't remember, but I'm sure I probably died of this the first time I did it. Um, on a GameCube. It's easier. I find these segments easier on the Wii because the buttons are closer together. I mean, I didn't. Re I don't really know the Wii button configuration, so I didn't know what B was. I never know if B is D, so I just always press everything, and that's it. Works out just fine. I know there's some segments later on in the game where that is a uh, very critical to be quick. So we'll come to that later. In the meantime, I'm gonna keep going uh, through the village. That guy's gonna run off. I guess he's got something planned for us. Just gotta, um, I definitely suggest being slow around corners, especially in this beginning segment. There is a lot of traps and dynamite and uh, like explosive trip wire. Now this guy's just throwing dynamite at us. If you uh, stun him, he'll. The fuses will blow up in their hand, which is, uh, I think, awesome that they did that for a game back on the GameCube. So, you can just let them kill themselves if you delay them a little bit. Now we're getting somewhere. You can save the game here if you like. I'm going to pass. Just explore a little bit, get some more gold. Gold pestas. And, oh, got a couple more of these. I feel like at the beginning of the game there's a lot of this uh, trip wire, but later on they just completely get rid of it. I don't know if they just felt like testing you to s make sure you were paying attention or to keep you on edge for later on in the game so you're always like uh, questioning yourself and where you're ready to turn, but who knows. Anyways, the rest of this is a cutscene where we're going to meet a pretty important character to the game. So, until next time, uh, stay tuned for more Resident Evil 4. Ah, a little rough, don't you think? <clears throat> You're not like them? No. You? <clears throat> okay, I have only one very important question. You got a smoke? Got gum. Perfect. The big cheese. What? Huh. Huh. 